Hello, hello, hello. I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video, so I just wanted to jump on here and say hi properly. I hope you guys have been well. I can't believe it's already March. <laughs> this year has well and truly started. It's actually a bit frightening how fast time is passing. But anyway, this is the last of the Tazzy vlog series. I've kind of meshed a few days into one um, i also put in my description all the details of the places that i visited so in case you are going to tazi anytime soon which i would highly recommend that you do i love that place um, you can refer to it and after this vlog i really want to do like a life update video as well and the gap between this video and the next one will definitely be shorter i promise without further ado let's let's dive right into the last video of this Tazzy series. Previously on the vlog, we went to Bruni Island, headed all the way up to Mount Wellington, went to Cascade Brewery and checked out the Salamanca markets. And we are starting this vlog right after we were just done with the markets. We are back again at Barilla Bay Oysters for some more oysters before we head to Launceston. Um, the tazzy golden oysters were so delicious i think i might just get like maybe even a dozen oysters but to myself how many oysters have we got here it's okay that's it quick maths nice all right we are just having oysters in the car park because we cannot wait. <laughs> Too excited. So we are currently at Wine Glass Bay. The drive here was about two and a half hours and the parking was I think $45 per car. And the trail that we are on right now, we're heading to the lookout. It's about an hour to an hour and a half return. It's actually pretty, pretty good weather for this right now. <laughs> okay, we have just arrived at the Wine Glass Bay lookout. Uh, it looks beautiful. I've never been here before and I'm trying to figure out which part is what part of the wine glass. I think if I like squint my eyes, I can kind of see it as a, as a wine glass. How's the view up there? Is this Sam? Is this Sam? Sam thing? Is it the same? Uh, that is someone. Is it the same? <laughs> is this Sam? <laughs> Who is Sam? No, Sam. <laughs> we are just done with our walk heading back to the car now you know what i'm really craving what i'm craving right now is a hot bowl of pho that would be absolutely amazing it's definitely well worth a visit and look we were only here for about two and a half three hours but there are definitely trails that allows you to spend a longer time but anyway back to the car to deliberate on our dinner options for tonight. So for dinner, we had a couple of options. We could drive all the way to Lawn System to get dinner, but by the time we get there, it would be like 9, 9.30, and I feel like a lot of places would be closed already. We ended up at this place that's about like a five minute drive from where we were at. It seems like a lot of people that just did the walk at Wine Glass Bay came here as well, because we see a lot of the hikers that we met along the way. Um, and this is more like pub style food. We came in just in the nick of time, 7.30 right now. Kitchen closes at 8, so... Whew, it is windy out here. Um, but we're going to head back to the car and it's a two hour drive to Launceston. The dinner was good. It hit the spot. My steak was fine. I got a medium because last time I went to Ball and Chain and I ordered a medium rare and it was so, so raw. So um, this time I got a, 
I got a medium instead, it was fine. My brother's laksa was interesting. I didn't try any, but everyone who tried said it was pretty good. Honey bees, honey bees. Yeah, it was pretty good. Okay, we have just gotten into our place in Launceston. It's very, very beautiful. <laughs> we were standing outside for about 15 minutes because we didn't have the code, but it all worked out in the end. So we have... This is the first room with three beds and then we walk through and there's like another room right here and this is another bed so there are three rooms and then this is the living area Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. I hope you guys are all doing well. We are en route to Cradle Mountain today and we are doing a quick pit stop at a place called Sheffield. So this is, I saw on the sign, the, the town of murals. I think we're going to just have a quick bite before we head on to Cradle Mountain and there's another hour just to get there. How is your, how's your mango tango? It's good. So I'm sharing the sausage roll with my sister and we also got a minstrel soup and I also got a, a smoothie. <laughs> Guys, we're heading um, to Cradle Mountain and we need to clean our shoes before we go in. We are doing the Glacier Rock walk. It's like 20 minutes to and back. Oh my goodness. It is like I'm walking into a postcard. It's so beautiful. We did the Glacier Walk. Now we're heading to the boat shed. Really excited to see this, like, super up close. Every now and then while on holiday, there is a point in time in this holiday period where my parents just start craving Chinese food and today is one of those days. And yeah, tonight we're having Chinese. We're at this place called Dynasty, which seven years ago when I first came to Tassie with my family again, we actually came here for dinner one time. And I wonder if I have a clip. I think I must have made a video. It is dinner time. And because we Chinese, we go eat at the Chinese restaurant called... Dynasty. It's Dynasty. Dynasty. It's Dynasty. I think I started vlogging back then, but none of these videos ever made it to a vlog. I'm actually super excited to get some rice and have some shared dishes. So yeah. Good morning, this is currently the breakfast situation. We've got um, some sourdough, some smoked salmon, and cheese, some ham, salami, bread, and we're making a couple sandwiches because we're looking to go to Bay of Fires today and I think that will just save us on time because because yesterday I think when we stopped for lunch that took up that ate up about an hour and a half, two hours and yeah probably just easier to have lunch on the go so we can sort of maximize our time at any of the attractions that we go to the coffee is pretty good i think this coffee is better than yesterday actually 
It was cheaper too. Oh really? <laughs> this coffee is from local hideout. They give you motivational like statements on your cup. It sounds like something you would have on your wall. It sounds like something you would have on your face. No, it's a good thing, Shadows. What the heck? Guys, we just stopped by Lee 65 and bought six dozen oysters. We couldn't eat there, so we drove about five minutes to like a park area. It's got benches. We're right by the beach. You might be able to hear the waves. And we've got a dozen oysters each. I am so, so excited. I've got my sandwiches in my backpack. But yeah, this is, this is amazing. These are so incredibly fresh. If you are heading to the Bay of Fires, absolutely check this place out when you're kind of on the way. They're $23 a dozen um, open. And if you don't want them opened, I can't remember how much it was. They're 14, they're 14 bucks a dozen. We started eating and now there's eight seagulls surrounding our table. Okay, we've arrived at Bay of Fires. The water looks beautiful. The idea behind it is that like from above you can see all the rocks and the red rocks and that's why it's called Bay of Fire. Would you like to say that again? Janice is stupid. <laughs> Janice, a fitness rating of 3 out of 10, has made it to the rocks to my cousin. She made it! She made it! <laughs> Very milky and creamy. It's good. I like it. Wanna try? No. And that pretty much concluded the trip. We made dinner that night and had an early morning flight the next day. But then our flight got delayed for an hour, which in the grand scheme of things, it, it wasn't too bad. And that's pretty much it for the Tassie trip. Like I said earlier, I'll put all the details and everything in my description. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I'll be posting another video very shortly. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, have an amazing rest of the week and I'll see you in my next video very shortly. Bye. Okay, we're stopping here for a super quick coffee and my sister was trying to parallel park and she, I think she like gave up halfway and got too stressed. But I just wanted to show you guys her, her parking. <laughs> so I can immortalize it in my vlog. She didn't even turn the wheel back.